Okay, first of all, your name? Yeah, I'm Ralph Baird. Ralph, you were the Equus Search. Tell me, give me a rundown on how this whole thing came about and uh, basically what has transpired since Sunday. Well, on Saturday uh, morning, I was contacted by my daughter, whose husband is a client of James Buckner, a valve salesman. And he said that uh, James went missing. They don't know where he was. He didn't show up for work. So that started this process with EquiSearch. Okay. Now, what uh, since then? What the tenth, he came up with some stuff. Tell me what ha what's happened since then with, with the right the cell phones and such. Right. Well, there was an initial there was an initial contact with the uh, Montgomery County Sheriff's Office. They're the ones that initiated the the uh, missing persons report. And they attempted to contact American Telephone and Telegraph for information on cell phone communications. They tried to go through a court order system, which is, takes a long time. They were unsuccessful in getting that information, so they were not able to have that information of their own uh, of their own action. So we reinitiated uh, the request with AT&T for the cell phone communications on what is called an exigent request, which means there's a severe threat of life. And at that point in time, AT&T is required to comply with our requests. That's how we got this information, and that's how we were able to move the search out of Montgomery County and into Polk County. Now, I pinged on a tower up here, off Business 59, gave you kind of an area to start looking at. When did that happen? When did that transpire? Uh, sometime Sunday. We, we, we got the request in to AT&T by Sunday at noon, and within two hours they had given us a database printout very accurate information of cell phone tower hits and directions of what of possibilities of where that hit could come from. Basically, when did you all start to search then? We started searching, uh, uh, we were already searching. So we, we were searching uh, Saturday night, we did a recon reconnaissance and meeting with the family it was just a few hours after it was reported to us. And then our formal search started at 7 o'clock in the morning on Sunday in Montgomery, Texas. Okay. Searching out there, then it was moved up here after, after we discovered where this location was here? Right. We decided after we got the cell phone hit, uh, which was a day later, then we made a decision to stop searching uh, the primary search area, no longer being Montgomery, uh, Texas, and, and uh, in uh, Montgomery County and we moved the search to Livingston and uh, where we got the cell phone uh, geographical information uh, in Polk County. When did you all, you all start searching up here and you located his, you were able to locate his truck. When did you locate his truck? Uh, we located his truck, uh, first of all we had a meeting uh, yesterday morning at 9 o'clock on a teleconference call of all of us, our search coordinators. We made a decision that we would do a windshield search, a reconnaissance of this area in particular uh, that day, which was yesterday. And by, uh, that was at 9 o'clock in the morning. By 2 o'clock in the afternoon, uh, Lenore and uh, Jack had found the truck behind the, uh, the, behind the motel here. Now, Livingston PD is handling it on this end. What have they discovered on the Now, the hotel's got video. What did they discover on video? Well, this, it's, uh, the video is very limited because it's been too long. People don't retain information long enough. This is a, a complaint I have is retention of data. A lot of times data is not retained long enough that people are reporting missing too late. And when they report missing people too late and don't start an incident, they don't preserve data. So the data wasn't preserved that we needed. Okay. So basically just a couple of days and the video re repeats goes basically just Yeah, a couple of days. Between, between three days and, and a week is typical. Uh, I would say the average on uh, video surveillance is three to five days. Uh, people that understand the need to preserve this data are retaining it in a uh, backup form format uh, for months or even years. It's possible today because it's cheap. Today it's cheaper than it was uh, a few years ago, so I don't, there's no excuse for not uh, retaining this data for a longer period of time. And just in, in case it's needed, just in case. Now what about, the, they found the truck, it's been up here, you know three days, but it could possibly be longer than that. Right, we believe that the truck was uh, pulled into the parking lot here on July 10th in the evening, and it stayed in that same spot since July 10th. That's what we believe. What about Montgomery County? How have they responded to this? Uh, Montgomery, we've kept Montgomery County informed. It's now out of their district, so it's out of their confines of their responsibility. It's now a Polk County and Livingston City uh, responsibility because this is uh, pro Livingston proper, and that's how uh, law enforcement authorities behave. They have uh, limits on, on their authority. But they, in Montgomery County, have they been working an active search, or what, what have they been doing? Uh, not really. Uh, 
there's more that can be done always, but uh, police officers are very busy doing things that they normally do every day. They're very busy. It's a very tough job. So what's important is, is if there is true need for uh, services, for resources, that the family has to get more emotional. What we recommend to families is they go uh, and act uh, crazy to get attention of uh, politicians, get crazy to get attention of media, to get crazy to get attention of uh, law enforcement. It's the only way you're going to get their attention. If you behave yourself like a normal human being, uh, you'll never find your daughter if your daughter goes missing because they'll just assume that she's a runaway. If you believe, if you believe that she's not a runaway and you believe that she's in trouble and she could uh, get in worse trouble or you, she could possibly lose her life, you're the one, you're the mother, you're the father, you're the one that has to act out in order to get attention. You're the one that has to get the attention. You're the only one. Equisearch is here to help. If we're called early enough, we can help coordinate that kind of emotion. But we can't provide that either. You have to. So basically, what are you all doing up here? Just basically uh, search, both land in, uh, both hiking in uh, four-wheelers? Yeah, what we, what we need normally is we work, uh, first of all, we don't normally work independently of law enforcement. So we normally depend on law enforcement to tell us where to search. In this case, law enforcement didn't know where to search, so we created the primary search areas by doing our own investigation. We're the ones that found the cell phone pings, and we were able to identify a, a logical search area that the law enforcement had agreed with. Once they saw it, they were excited that we found it. They were very excited to participate with us. So then it became a joint collaboration effort. This is a trend in America where uh, tax dollars are important. Uh, there's a trend in America towards more collaboration amongst different agencies. There's also a collaboration in what's called private uh, public partnerships. And that's what we're working really hard to achieve, which is a relationship with law enforcement and, uh, using uh, private nonprofit uh, organizations to coordinate and collaborate with law enforcement. He's a valve representative. He's a salesman who travels all over Texas. Is that, is that oil field? It's white, wastewater treatment plants. Wastewater treatment. All right. And you guys live in Magnolia? Or we Montgomery? live in Magnolia. He was last seen in, Man in Montgomery on the corner of 149 and 105 at the Valero station at 1130 at night getting $20 worth of gas. Um, he's been missing since the missing persons report went out July the 10th and we have been looking for him ever since. Um, Texas EquiSearch was able to find his, the last ping on his phone was up here in Livingston. So they came up yesterday and started searching the Livingston area and were able to locate his truck at the La Quinta on 59. And that is why we are in this area um, looking for James. That La Quinta, right? This La Quinta. Okay, yes. he never checked into that. No, La he did not. Uh, when was the last you talked to him? I spoke with him last July the 9th. He called me about 7.30 and told me good night. Okay, and where was he supposed to be? In Waco. In Waco, and this right. is part of his job? Yes. Okay, how long, he, how long had he been, when's the last time you saw him? How long had he been on the road? Um, well, I was out of town Monday and Tuesday and he was at home. We were flip-flopping. Okay. So that's a crazy, you know. So you haven't seen him since? Sunday. 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 Not this last Sunday, but the Sunday before last. Right. Okay. It's been a week. It's Better been over two. It's July the 10th he went missing. Isn't it the 28th or 29th okay. today? It's yeah, three, yeah, almost yeah. three weeks. You're right. I'm not doing the math very well. Um, did he, what's the last thing you've talked about with him? Do you know? Um, well, we were very excited about having a new grandbaby born in the family who was just born uh, July the 24th in the middle of all of this. Um, and it's just June the 24th, July the 24th, okay. in the midst of all of this, oh, he I... had his first grandchild. Okay, born. but you haven't talked to him about no. that. No. All right. Well, the... I mean, we've been waiting nine months for the baby. <laughs> right. But... Well, I mean, as you last talked to him July 10th, the baby was born the 24th. Yes. The and last... he was not here for the birth. Right. The last time you talked to him, what was that conversation about? Very short. He just said, Good night. He was tucked in, and when he was on the road, he typically did that when he got in the hotel room and, you know, said, I'm tucked away for the night, and um, so I knew he would be safe. And he was at that time in? Wake. Well, I Waco. thought he was in Waco. Okay. Uh, would there be any reason he would be in Livingston? We can think of no reason to, for him to be in Livingston at all. Not He doesn't know people that I'm aware of. He's sold some valves here, but you know, they get just shipped to the job site. So 
It's very odd for him to be showing up in Livingston. Any clues in his truck? We have found none. They, we have found nothing. Okay. And, and what about he had a business meeting set up too, didn't he? Then he didn't show up for her? Well, Thursday when, when he went missing, uh, they called me about 12 o'clock and asked if I had seen James. And I said, no. And they said, we can't get a hold. Nobody has been able to get a hold of him all morning. And that's when I was alerted. And I, it took about an hour before I called the sheriff to report him as a missing person. Because this is very out of character um, to not be in touch, to not show up for work, to, um, you know, disappear. And like I say, you hadn't been in touch with him in for no, a no. good, well, half the month. Right. Um, we got some pictures of him. Right. We need to hear from people that might have seen him. And right. the last place we know he was, or at least his truck was, was in Williamson. Right. Last right. place he know, we know he was, was in uh, Montgomery. Right. He's okay. on video in Montgomery. We have okay. him on camera. What about here? Do they have video cameras? Do they catch They anything? do have video cameras here. Um, the only thing that was on video is his truck sitting there. It's been there for three days. They only keep video for three days. Right. And he never checked into the hotel. They did a thorough search of the hotel. He's not in the hotel. And so there's no guarantee how long his truck has been in the parking lot. What do you think's going on? Do you have any clue at all? You know, it's just all the different leads we followed and dead ends and finding the truck was hugely important and to find it here in Livingston is another confusion to the piece of the puzzle. Um, we just don't know. We just don't know. Uh, has his cell phone been found? No, his cell phone has not been found. Is it still, can you call it? Can no. You, okay, so the battery's dead by now. Yes. I guess, I guess it would be, wouldn't right. it? Right. Um, and who tracked his cell phone for you? Was that Montgomery Equisearch. County? Equisearch. Equisearch. Yeah. Equisearch has helped me find leads I couldn't do on my own. And they have been hugely beneficial in finding this ping on the phone up here in, or we would still be looking in the Montgomery area. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good enough for you guys? Yep. You okay?